Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Forever Pool Overview. I'm gonna keep it short because I'm just annoyed by the whole fact that we have four games of the same kind from the same developers not changed and not just done anything. <laughs> it's a slight nemesis of the channel, basically I just don't get the whole idea and the concept of separating the games and copy pasting them on the store with just different sport. If it's me, I could care less, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> so Forever Pool is exactly what you think it is. A multiplayer social pooling game where in multiple environments using multiple, I don't know, sticks, challenge your friends and enemies to a game of <laughs> pool. <laughs> if they copy paste games, I could copy paste overviews because nothing's literally gonna be different except for the actual <laughs> game. You'll be able to pick customized things like environments, the things that you <laughs> hit the balls, duel people 1v1, it seems like 2v2 is coming, it's not on the release. Play YouTube in the background, chill in the lobby. It's just the same old shit. I'm here to verify if the mechanics are still consistent and everything works. I just don't care about the concept at all because it's just not for me. Let's go play some pool. Welcome to Forever Pool. With your controller, aim at the tutorial and pull the trigger. Oh yeah, this is where the fun begins. It forces us to do the tutorial this time around. I mean, pfft, okay. Welcome to the Forever Pool tutorial. Listen up, eh? So, I can't call you this. Ah, no problemo. You look more like a champ anyway. So listen up, champ, because I'm going to teach you three key skills. How to move around the hall, how to move around the table, and how to play pool. You ready to learn? Uh, sure. Here's how you move around the hall. Teleport by pushing forward on the controller thumbstick to pick a spot. Then, release to jump there. Turn by pushing the thumbstick left or right. Step backward by pushing the thumbstick backward. Ah, baby's first steps. I'm so proud. Ew, cringe. Can I switch to the smooth turning or something? There are no settings, the hell? Head down to the pool table. Yeah. Teleport by pushing forward on the controller thumbstick to pick a spot. Then release to jump. Practice teleporting across the table and busting those moves, circling around using the thumbstick. I see. So maybe smooth locomotion would not be as handy here, but still would be nice. You can step away from the table by pushing the thumbstick backward, then come back by pushing forward to teleport back. <laughs> now, let's play some pool. But first thing, here's how to play pool. All you gotta do is aim, walk, and shoot. Simple. Now, let's sink these four balls and old Sly will tuck you through it. Okay. There's an indicator when it's gonna go. All right, champ, keep holding the trigger and move your rear arm back and forth and take the shot. Simple enough. How long are we? No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> I need a proper position. What the hell? Hello? Oh my god. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> I'm fighting with the game. <laughs> nice shot, champ. Here's how to place the cue ball. Aim at the table where you'd like to place the ball. Then 
pull the trigger. I don't know much about pull, just the basics. When can you do that actually? <laughs> Basics, champ. Time to go sing some balls in pockets and enjoy some forever pool. <laughs> we'll see about that. What the hell? We have gifts now? Yeah, like I care. <laughs> so, you saw the lobby by now. Custom stuff. You go... P metro station. Leaderboards. Cringy barman. Uh, VIP? Okay. Thanks. Let's go to... Now! <laughs> Why am I unlocking all those stuff? I don't have those games. <laughs> Can I access now the settings and do we have Smooth Loco? Oh, hell yeah. Thank God. Well, <laughs> that's definitely not enough. Oh my God. <laughs> Can I <laughs> adjust that? I have everything to max. Thank you. Um, you can customize parameters. <laughs> I'm playing with him. Let's do the classic. So I still teleport around the table. Aha, uh -huh, it's like locking me. Fair enough. Oh, okay. So I think the point is that you can literally win the whole game and not letting everyone play unless you just put every single ball or every single turn. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I mean, this indicator really helps out. I'm not sure if it should be here, because that seems abnormally easy. At least not the second one where it's actually gonna bounce. Wrong group pocketed? Oh, damn. Because he has his balls and I have. So I have stripes. No! Okay, if the white goes in, it ends my turn as well. Oof, that's rough. Oh yeah, I can't hit the other one. <laughs> Damn. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you suck.
How about... From the edge. Oh, wow. I went too hard. Oh no, the eight ball in the way. Well, I can choose the position. Lovely. I mean, this indicator kind of disappears in the distance, but you can still make it out. This won't do anything so. What's this line though? Is it just to start? Uh, that seems to be hard. Hell yeah! Oh, I need to socket the black one now. Oh wow, let's go. That was it. So pretty much like always, everything is consistent with the physics, mechanics and just features. I never complained about that, I'm just annoyed by the fact that the layout, UI, every single thing is the same. And that might be just me that I have a fetish for innovation, because I feel like I'm still playing the same stuff from this year, last year and two years ago. It works and everything's great, but it's just that specific thing with separating the games across the store and the whole concept I don't get behind. Besides that, the games are great.